Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Witcher 3, Blood and 1, and we're gonna go talk to Regis. And pull back to Regis. Where's my fast travel? Oh man, I was hoping, I was hoping for the best on that, and it did, it did end up working out pretty dang well. I th okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think I do think it's kind of weird that Carol has property. Like, what's a witcher gonna do with property? Like, he has, like, people under him who depend on him for a livelihood now. Like, I feel like there should have been more, like, oh, hey, I don't know if I'm actually ready for that responsibility. I'm a one-man kind of show. One man, one horse, riding around, killing monsters, and you expect me to run a place? <laughs> but they're not. Like, they gave him somebody to do it for him, but still. It's kind of a, kind of a thing. A uh, Belgard Vineyard, a famous act of poisoning once occurred which took the lives of a large gang of bandits who were ransacking the area. The folk charged with cleaning up in the aftermath originally planned to burn the bodies, but one pious soul, soul thought even rotten dung diddlers such as they deserve better. He thus paid for their bodies to be laid to rest in a small cemetery. Oh, that's, that was, okay. Uh, later, Sir Ramon of Guichon died a martyr's death here while trying... To get rid of the bandits constantly returning rates. Oh my gosh, that's... It is funny. He's he's in there. Apparently this cemetery is actually a real cemetery. Somebody told me in the comments a, long, a while back. There is... At, well, it's, there is actually a cemetery with this name in France. So... Um... <sighs> Please don't make me fight things every time I come here. Oh, and I can just... Creepy! Ow. Regis, ow. Your, your place is a death trap for me. Uh... How's it going? I know you're not over here. Is this where you sleep? I don't want to startle you or anything. Are there britches in here? No? Okay, cutscenes? That's fine. He put a hat on the skeleton. Think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? Hmm. We've clearly honed your sense of humor. <laughs> but we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it. As our codex commands. The raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Pretty helpful creatures. Call on them often. I try not to overdo it, but they can be so useful, as they were now, when I merely needed to be sure I could arrive in time should things go sour. Managed to find a loan, but thanks Aww. for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing Aww. resonance. Mentioned a last ingredient, too. What about that? I should have let him come rescue me. That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? Nah. It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement, but, alas, None such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. Ah. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. What? That sounds to be very, very dangerous. Well, no, we're not gonna make him do that. He doesn't. Why would we make him do that? That sounds dumb. Dangerous? Why? I mean, you'll still be you, right? True. But I should be highly agitated, in a state of fury. I can't imagine you know it. Better than I, that fury cannot be controlled. If you've ever seen an enraged vampire, you know very well that all who find themselves nearby will be in grave danger. How will we handle that? 
I'd rather not have you lunge at me, claws extended. That makes two of us. Don't worry not. I've thought it through very thoroughly. Details to follow soon. I don't... Mm, I don't... Mm, this... Mm, mm. The best laid plans men and vampires to go stray, my bro. They go stray. They go stray. All right. So what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that, that the blood scent will no. fly you mad. Wild. No, 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 no. That's not fair to ask. Like, he's the one who doesn't want to go insane. He's the one who doesn't want to have that blood addiction again. And I guess if he stayed in the cage and didn't actually, like, drink the blood, he would just be agitated. But, like, that's not fair. Tesha Mutna. What's it like? Let's just find a bad vampire and kill him. It is a place him. of torment. A torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. What? This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. <laughs> the but when did you last enjoy mosquito buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. But you can't the kill The torture him. chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesha Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus, I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. He's not fully recovered. He's not even fully recovered. Like... I... <laughs> Little expedition starting to sound dangerous. Think I better prepare. I understand completely. Do tell me when you're ready to set off. Vintages. What? No, I don't want to. Uh, my last thought before falling asleep. If there is no death, does life exist? Hate is a very interesting feeling. I have noticed that people improve themselves with it to great effect. Sometimes I would like to stop thinking. If we were to create a god as the humans have, what would it be, be like? People justify bad deeds by good intentions. I'm not sure if there is greater idiocy. I would drink the freshly squeezed blood of an infant. I know I can't, but I hope that its velvety taste will send me to sleep. Ugh. Oh, what? I strive to live like a person, and it means that I have ceased to feel good among people as well as among my own. Maybe I made a big mistake. Oh, I have always wanted to write. I am very tired and F it all. People don't think about the present. They usually remember old times or worry about the future. I have a feeling that my friend Detlef will die. I am sad. Well, oh, frig, man. Oh, what, what, what reaches? What? Do you, do you require sleep often or no? Like, broski. I won't kill Detlef. I won't. I'm pretty sure he has a really good reason for whatever he's doing. To be honest. Like, he probably legitimately has a really good reason. Like, some people are jerks. Um. Oh my gosh. Is this one any? Is it seventy-two? The wolf, wolven steel sword superior. I have two. I have two superiors. Really? Oh wow, though. Why is it minus eighty-seven?
Oh, wow. Odd. I don't think I have the money to make the manticore armor. I already, I already basically made the woven armor, except for that stupid stomach. Crafted. Where you'd be at? Oh, it's not. Oh, the regular Manticore armor. Um, I could do that, maybe. Um, so that's just the regular one? Not the Master Crafted? Or, um, Grand Master, that's what it is. Not Master Crafted. Grand Ma see? I have everything except the Monster Stomach, which I freaking can't. Friggity fraggity and fine. Enriched Dime Meridium Plate. But the Manticore Armor requires just Dime Meridium. I don't have a lot of money left, but I could I could try. All right, let me go make this manticore armor really quick, my friend. If I remember how to get out. I don't. How do I get out? Wait, no. Is this the right way? I feel like there's only That's the way. Oh, okay. I was like, I thought. Okay, okay, okay. So that's the way I came first time around. And I can't go that way. Regis, tell me how to get out. Oh. Da da. I was like, why am I being stopped? Okay. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. In the cemetery. Let's see. We need to go to the town. This town. I'm so excited! I like this armor, but it'll be cool maybe to get a new set. Although I have to make a, a new set? Like a whole... Like am I still gonna have wolf pants on? You know what I'm saying? I do love the old fairy sword. Really nice. Mark gracious Duchess. Greetings. I hope your search. Yep. Would you craft something from? Of mm -hmm. course. Mm-hmm. And decor. I have the stuff for that. So, oh, uh, let's repair the sword while I'm here. Oh, wait, no, okay, this is what I have quit. Re repair all equip? Uh, well, at least repair this item. Yay! 
Do I need manticore pants? Go get the trousers. Okay, I need some more cured draconid leather. Uh, maybe I didn't. Did I need to? Did I even need to? Oh! Okay. Shoot, yeah. Manticore, silver sword. I think he had just enough wax for me to be able to make. I think I only needed. Oh no, never mind. No! No, he's out of wax. I'm gonna have to go buy some. Or come back later, I guess. I don't have to have the whole set complete at this point. And then I need the dimeridium plate. Just regular, not enhanced. Yay. Let's do the boots. Oh wait, oh well. I guess I could just buy one. Nah, <laughs> but it's cheaper to buy the... Well, and then there's the cost of labor too, I guess. Ooh, that would that would put me really, really low. Mm, I think it's just better to wait at this point. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Thank you. Don't mind me while I change. Apparently, this is a, um, reminiscent of the armor he wore in The Witcher 1. So, that's pretty neat. Mm. Sure. What does that one do? Stuff. Sure. Put my stronger ones in. Freeze. I know I could always undo the other ones, but I'm like, nah, 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 nah. look at all these freaking armor repair kits I have, but no more sword ones. Two percent, two percent, two percent. I don't have very good. That one's axy. Um. Man, he might as well just have one of each in every single piece of armor. I mean, like literally, that's how it's just gonna work out. <laughs> that's just gonna work out that way. Uh, well, sweet dealio. Oh yes! Oh, so this, so the Manticore is already mastercrafted. That's legit. So it's gonna give me, or no, this is just for having the Witcher gear bonus, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh no, so it is. Ha ha, so the Manticore stuff, I don't have to worry about upgrading over and over and over and over and over again. Yes. Yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh, oh well. Oh man, we okay. You know, I actually like it better in game than I even do in the inventory screen. Like, look at that pop collar, boy. And look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that V neck thing going on. Like, oh my gosh, I love the bandolier too. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And those little bangles on the back of your arm. I'm a fan. Well, not actually bangles, just dangly pieces of leather. Appearances deceive, Witcher. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, I actually really like this a lot. 
I like it a ton. It looks really good. And the gloves look fine with it too, but I mean, we've been, we'll come back after like a day or so maybe and his supply, the, hopefully the guy's supply of wax will be. Oh shoot, we probably could have decrafted something to get the wax. <laughs> uh, well, okay, next time we come back, if uh, if he hasn't refilled his wax supply, I'll look, in, I'll look into decrafting, this man's look, decrafting? There are words in the English language for things I try to say, but I don't know them, or I, don't, I can't seem to speak them. So, forgive me. Forgive me. My trespasses. I like the, I like the Manticore a lot better than I thought it would, and we get the we get the bonus of uh, was it three? We can use freaking three uh, potions on our sword. Oh no. Critical hit chance and critical hit damage also applied. Friggin' was the... I was looking at the silver sword section earlier. I was like, oh, I don't have the steel sword schematic. That's weird. Even though I got all of them is in another place, but I didn't say it. But I just freaking forgot to look at the steel sword schematic. See? I'm gonna... It's fine. Of course, we're gonna be fighting monsters this time around. Or not, not monsters. We're gonna be fighting beasts this time around. And I get to use the Ophiri sword, but that's okay, because it's supposed to be a really good sword. It's just almost about to break. Hee hee hee. Weapon charges with energy during combat. When its color changes to red, a strong attack will release this energy in an extra powerful strike. At the cost of part of the attacker's vitality, so I don't usually use heavy attacks, but that's cool. I'll have to keep it. I, I've noticed the sword glowing red, but I didn't notice that, that I didn't- I thought it- I thought it just kind of randomly put out energy, but I guess not. That's cool. That's what happens when, when you read, uh, stuff. Wait, okay, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Critical hit chance and critical hit damage also apply to bombs. Uh, wait. Oh, no, I don't have Grandmaster. I don't have the Grandmaster Manticore. Oh, wait, okay. Whoa, okay, I was looking around. Okay, whew. Oh, okay, so the uh, Grand for... The Grandmaster level, if I had three Grandmaster wolf stuff, I could have three different oils uh, applied to a sword at, the, at one time. I thought, oh man. The maximum number of charges for each alchemy item is increased by one. That's cool. Okay, so, so I was told that this one's supposed to be for an alchemy build, and that's why. But I did really like... I like the idea of having three oils on a sword at a time, but I guess it's not really that important because I'm usually fighting one creature. 123. It keeps track of your minutes too. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a game do that before. Usually it's just here's your about your rough average hour, or whatever, whatever. Oh, that's funny. Okay. All right, Regis, I'm semi-prepared. I have four out of six pieces because I was absent-minded and a fool. I could have had all of them probably, but I look good, right? I hope you compliment my outfit. We spent, hopefully I'll edit out a lot of that crafting stuff. We'll see. Oh, look, Geralt looks so slim now. Is this, this is medium armor, right? I'm pretty sure I checked and it was, yeah, it was medium, I remember. Regis. Ah, there you are. Might we set off for Tesha Mudna now? I had to go, like, change my outfit. Oh my gosh, look at it! Looks really good! He's got a little pouch for book. <laughs> I know that's not what it's for, but... Technically, if this was, like, an alchemical build, and he was, like, an alchemist-type person, I would totally expect to see some alchemical notes in there. <sighs> Should've saved! See no reason to dawdle. Tesha Mudna. You dawdled! Take me there. In the look moment. at the... Just one Look at the texture thing. on my sleeves. Yes, we're beautiful. Oh my gosh, what? What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some Sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallon to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. Uh, your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. You must remain calm. I have no choice. We could have gone and found a bad one. As things stand, the die is cast. 
high time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's spinning already, and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. Why didn't you drink that when we got there? It, it seems like it acts pretty immediately. <laughs> uh, sometime later, Geralt's still alive somehow. Also, I forgot to ask, and I meant, I don't know why Geralt didn't ask, but what happened to the previous vampire that couldn't escape for 200 years? Like, what is it? where's he at? What's he doing? How's it going? Is he a vengeful spirit? He can't die, right? So what happened? What happened to him? These are the important questions that Geralt the Monster we Hunter did not ask. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. I am beautiful. I am a beautiful man. Sure you know what you're doing? I can only That's not what I do. asked. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. Okay. Indeed. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. There's blood there. Lots of blood. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, <laughs> I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. Says the vampire. That matches the marking on his glove. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire blood. Tricky mechanisms, the vampire hideout. Fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world to this one opened up from this land and no other. Fudge, you scared the crap out of me. I missed it? I'm sorry, this I kind of missed it. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. A great many beings have breathed their last here. Um, something about when the gate opened, I was busy looting. Um, I was trying to pay attention, but then he did like a weird spin around thing and it scared the freaking crap out of me. Um, but, oops, um, did, was this, did the gate open here or what? Like Cliffs the, are carved the... into the rock. Coated with blood used to be. They mean something? The emblems, symbols of uh, what you would call tribes, dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here too. Remind us all where we came from. Oh. Wait. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garishan. My tribe, and Dedlaus. We both remained in this part of the world. Oh, so you guys are like blood brothers then, like, for sure, for sure, for sure. Even more than normal. Ooh, this is a cool one. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tedet. Those who went east, beyond the Blue Mountains, 